had to get me a drink. Let me flip this camera thing around if I can see. Okay. As you can see, I'm not doing surgery. But as you can see, I got some pepper seeds. And these aren't that bad, so to say. I mean, they're bad enough. But I've been scraping a little excess seedlets out of the caps of the peppers that I've been cutting because well any seed I can save is a good seed and then I can grow them again next year Not all these have seeds in them but so there's like a seed here, seed there. So I'm gonna save everything I can because that's how I am. There's a seed right there. Get a little booger off. See, most of these are nice and clean when I cut the heads off. Now this one here, I can see there's crap. Holy crap! Yeah, unfortunate. I dropped on the floor, but nothing came out. See, there's three seeds right there. Boy, my stupid cattle, they're jumping on things again. I've got three great big ass cats in my house that act just like my kids. And I'm about ready to toss two of them out. Or get rid of two of them anyway. I'd like to drive me crazy. That was clean. A lot of these peppers here when I cut them. At the top of the head parts out. See how clean that is? Not a seed one in that thing. I would cut a little closer, but I'm trying to cut a little bit of excess off of it so I can scrape some seed out. But I don't need a whole bunch of seed, truthfully. I mean, just a, maybe a few seed here and there. What, 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 what I had been digging out, you know, it's clean enough for me now this one here even though it's a small head I think it has a bunch of seed in that so I got up semi early this morning considering what time I went to bed this morning and uh I was like, screw it. I was debating on if I wanted to mess with this or not this morning. But I figured, what the hell, I might as well do it. So, here I'll be. And these are my second set of gloves here, by the way. My first set of gloves I had on. I actually had to change because my fingers and my hands were burning uh, through the gloves, if you can believe it. I mean, they're they're not. I would I hate to use the word burning, but I can feel the heat through the rubber on my hands. And if I can feel the heat with my hands with the gloves on, I can imagine what it feels like without the gloves on. Some more peppers from them. Oh, pepper seeds. Check out that bad boy. Yeah. 
that's what you call pure instant death and this is what I'm using in my hot sauce but a friend of mine I've known for some time has asked me for some of the peppers which I'm going to take him some I'm not going to be greedy I'll take him some peppers and uh, needless to say I'm going to not use all my peppers today. I'm going to use the majority of them. And, uh, let me find my mark. No, I'm not. I'll do this later. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, this one here, top came out of this one. So this one's going to be easy, an easier one to do since there's snow down. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that death. It's just waiting to kill somebody. Into the brine you go. Now I'm going to shave off some of these little seeds here. If I can. And if I can't, it's no big deal. Uh -huh. Yeah, there's some seeds clicking and clicking. But yeah, this is this is gonna be my hot sauce, my second run. My first one, my first run wasn't really that hot. I mean, it was it was flavorful, which you know that's kind of what I want. But it wasn't like hot like all these people were assuming. So, but this batch is gonna be hot, 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 hot. So. They want it hot? Well, they're going to get hot. Kitty, if I was you, I would not stand next to me waiting on for these scraps because you will die of a heart attack. I'm going to take these seed heads that I have. I'm cutting off the peppers. And uh, basically, I'm going to take these out and throw them in my gardening bed on one side of it that I haven't used at all this year. And I'm just going to use a lot of my kitchen scrap and everything else. There's no seeds to see back there. Counter, pick you up. But I'm going to use the uh, all these pepper heads I'm cutting off, like I said, my garden box. So that way I can save them without putting the wrong thing. Boy, losing my mind. Talking and cutting at the same time is not a good thing, I guess. There's a seed right there popped out. I'll scoop him up. I'll go back to my, my fiery death. Man, these bad boys are bad. I might have to throw me a little bit more vinegar in this big old jar I have. Because, uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to be enough to merge everything. See, a lot of people will grind their peppers up in a paste and uh, let it ferment with salt. I do just the opposite. I take my peppers and I put them in a mason. Well, this is a half gallon, well, that's a half gallon mason jar. And I stick my peppers in there and then I stick uh, vinegar and usually a tablespoon no two two 
two and a quarter to two and a half teaspoons of pickling salt. And then that's all I stick in mine. And uh, that's how I do mine. I don't ferment it. I just pickle it. And then after I pickle it, I after it sits for so long, uh, basically grind it into a paste and uh, I sift it through a sifter into another vessel and from there uh, either I load just the vinegar vinegary uh, extract from the mash into a container or I'll cut it with more vinegar to make it more like a vinegary kind of hot sauce but either way that's how I do it kind of like just like making pickles except for these pickles will hurt you severely and I mean severely some of these seeds in my mouth Look at pick with that one. Let's see. There's a good one. I don't want too too many of these. I'd much rather have my like Tabasco peppers loaded up with me. I can deal with Tabasco. Well, a lot better I can deal with these. These right here, as of right now, my hand from here across this area of my hand, I can feel that they're burning. I would say they're burning. It's like a tingly burn is what it's like. But even at that, it's a, it's not really comfortable. It's almost like when you're handling hot peppers with no gloves on and you feel your fingers and your hands starting to tingly, kind of like go numb somewhat. That's what it's like. And these rubber gloves are from an actual doctor's office so I can tell you right now they're not no cheap rubber gloves and if they are cheap rubber gloves whoever the doctor is that uses needs their ass is kicked but I'll show you here in a second do a little scraping on this there's not very much on here. Now some of these seeds uh, I've, 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 I have had in the jar already but as you can tell, well here, look at my camera tilted a lot of these seeds are across here from the ones I've been cutting this morning. I don't know, I was actually got rubbing my hand, my arm I mean. I can't touch my hand with my face. That'd be a big mistake. This hand is with knife only, this hand is with peppers. But even though this hand is knife only, this hand has, you know, I guess counter spray from this being cut. And I don't want to take it anywhere near my face whatsoever. Which I have a bigger hand. That's a wide mouth jar and I can't stick my hand in it, so that'll tell you something. And I've noticed these lot bigger peppers aren't as potent as the smaller ones for some reason. Now I'm a, I'm gonna save. Hold on, let me get this seed up here. There's only one seed that popped out. Check that; it's clean. So I'm gonna cut these, these big old fat red ones. That's about how clean they are when I cut them. I mean, there's like a, like a little micro filament of somewhat of a seed there, but it's not really a seed. It's like the, the beginning of a seed. And that's about how clean they are. And, whew, they smell like a tomato. They smell like a, a mix between a potato and instant death. Now, These 
are the four that I'm going to save. These are the four I'm going to save. And I'm going to cut these down, but I'm going to save four of these as well because I'm going to dry these. And once I dry them, I'm going to grind them up into a chili powder. And I'm going to send them to a friend of mine named Dan that lives down in Texas. Because he enjoys my chili powder. And uh, last year, I, I, made, I made a big old batch of it last year. And uh, I couldn't find it in time. So I, 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 was, I was hoping to have it, sent, have it sent to him for Christmas. But, uh, well, we had a, a light bulb cleaning. And either I put them someplace or the wife put them someplace. And I didn't find them until after the fact. So he didn't get them when, was, when he was originally supposed to. But he still got them. These are yellow ghost peppers. In case you're wondering, the red ones really didn't need much of a, much of an explanation. You know, you could pretty well tell what the hell they were. I will show you my. Well, use my other hand since it's not as bad. Mm. This is what I'm going by. Of course, I'm gonna I'm gonna compress a lot of this down, like smash it down. But down here, pull it in the bottom. These little I'm sorry, I'm I'm out of your view line. Those little peppers there, floating in vinegar. Those are Thai peppers. And then these. Big old fat red ones down here. These are my chili peppers that I grew. The chili peppers are actually very mild. Um, it's almost like a sweet pepper kind of. I like I like using I like using weak with hot because the weak ones will. That's the ones you taste first instead of instead of being a full blown you know burn your mouth out, burn your guts out, everything else like that. I like using a sweet pepper or mild peppers and the reason for that is because you put it in your mouth and it's like oh this ain't nothing this is like you know it's, it, it's kind of like really sweet, really mild, has a really good flavor and then just pick and then it's like it's like smashing an accelerator on your vehicle and it just keeps going and going and going until it meets it meet, it reaches the point to where it's supposed to be at, and uh, that's about it, really. I don't enjoy uh, extremely hot. I don't even like it, truthfully. I know people that do, so this is why I'm doing what I'm doing because they enjoy it. Me myself, I'm I'm just as happy with. Louisiana hot sauce and a vinegar brine. You know, I like flavor. I don't like burning my guts out. Uh, I don't like burning my ass out when I'm trying to use the bathroom the next day either. So, and another thing too is dermatitis runs in my grandfather's side of the family, which I know my mom has it, my brother had it. I think my, my son has it, so if they have it, I know for a fact that I have it, and I would much rather avoid inflaming the area of my stomach liver, or my stomach lining, uh, I'll just eat better and not eat this crazy shit, and I'll be just happy happy is happy as people would tell me it's my nickname is Pappy by the way that was my nickname given to me a few years back by a couple friends of mine because well, I looked like Pappy so now let's 
see there's this one here caps off there's well I'll cut one more I'll save two of these instead of four <sighs> now let me see about this Here. I can move stuff around now. My brain's trying to figure out what it's trying to do. Tell you one thing if you ever have sinus problems, find just super hot peppers, cut them up. Even if you don't do anything with them, just cut them up, and you won't have sinus problems at all. None whatsoever. These are undeveloped peppers. I'm just going to scrape these up on the board instead of trying to scrape it inside the jar because the board has a larger space area. Yeah, just my luck. It goes on the counter, which I'm going to have to spray chemicals on the counter to clean it because some of these have these residue pepper seeds on the counter. And then forget about it. Put your hands on the counter for whatever reason. And then touch your face with it because your face will swell for sure. And, uh, out in there, small little beauties. So let me. It's kind of funny because the aroma. From, from the big, from the big old fat red ones, they smell like tomatoes. That's exactly what they smell like. Like a fresh tomato, except for a fresh tomato doesn't have the heat that they have. Wipes up. These boxes put these to the side. Now, just the seeds alone gives me heartburn. Now, let me find me a, a smoosher. Now I'm going to start the top off. Yeah, it's plenty. That's what I use for most of my cooking and my pickling.
No, I made a boo-boo. Hmm. Using that baby wipe to uh, wipe down my jar to be on the safe side. So that way, where my other glove I was using to cut and hold the hot pepper, since I touched the jar with it, I don't want to touch my hand to the jar because I don't want to have the automatic sensing of burning I'll show you that is just from rubbing the jar that's all the excess residue of course you can see the brown there but you might not be able to see there's a bunch of yellow residue there from other uh, pepper extract so now I can make, pick that up without burning the crap out of my hand now This is something that I have learned from watching somebody else online. And it helps with holding the peppers down in the brine as like a weight. And then on top of that, Done doing its job is holding holding the peppers down. I can grind this up along with the, the other stuff, and it'll just add extra flavor and you know just more or less extra flavor. Now, nice pretty onion. There you go. Push it down. Push it down. There we go. Now, get this out of your way. So now, since I got the onion in there, I'm smashing it down. There's a little bit above. Of course, there's always going to be something sticking above a little bit. But, you know, most of this is compressed down into. And now, since I'm safe and secure, I can pull this bad boy off, put it in the trash. This is my pickle, well, I call it pickle brine, but it's not right pickles. It's my gonna be hot sauce here in the next few, well, three to six weeks. And uh, yeah, but there's there's my peppers all smashed down, nice and pretty looking. And then once this, this the onion will, will absorb the flavor content, and I'll just grind that up with my peppers and there she be so this is what I do to make my hot sauce and then when I take it to the next couple stages I'll record it show you as well have a great Monday I'll see you later